the, the further actions that will be taken in his case. All right. Mm. Let's now take a look at page four, where we have matters education. Absolutely. And uh, that is students to take two main tests in new school mm -hmm. system. We do know that uh, 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 the competency-based curriculum what Kenya is looking at achieving in the nearest uh, future. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, part of this, of course, is uh, making sure that this is aligned. Now, pupils will sit for the national examination uh, in, two in two sections, uh, in um, what they call grade 10 and grade 12 as well. And uh, this is under the 26333 education system. Uh, learners are expected to study for two years at uh, pre-primary before proceeding to grade one and to grade six and you know sitting mm -hmm. for two examinations mm -hmm, absolutely and you know the the, the education minister uh, cs Ma george magoha has been put at pains to explain this whole CBC issue and the new realities in our education system. At first we were wondering whether grade 3 students would be forced to uh, take exams and then it was to, it was clarified and we were told no this is going to be an assessment. Then we wondered what is the difference between an examination and an assessment and of course then we were wondering just yesterday whether the grade 6 students are going to be having to sit for another examination. So it seems that it's going to take time before the details of the new system come out and are taken in. And of course that graphic on your right is giving you more depiction of what to expect. The organization of basic education. World of work slash life is the absolute goal at the end of it all. So take a look and learn more about how we're going to be going from the pre-primary level, law primary, upper primary, law secondary then on to university tertiary education and training there you go so there's also another story that i find interesting on page four and mm. country to import 12.5 million bags of maize of course maize imports have been a big uh, sore thumb in this country by virtue of the fact we produce a lot of maize mm -hmm. then sometimes the farmers complain that the prices are not good enough or they are not able to even sell them but at the end of the day we end up importing so of course the question is what goes on there so there's a story there that the country will import 12.5 million bags of maize at the end of this month now this is meant to last um until uh, october uh, when the next crop is expected uh, of another maybe two or three years or so so 12.5 million mm -hmm. bags of maize expected to be imported into the country absolutely now let's move on to page nine where we're taking a look at that case over that involved the garissa attack that claimed the lives of tens of students and of course as many more are were injured 140 248 people to be exact as well as 79 were injured now three are going to three suspects have gotten a long jail terms from that particular attack we're being told more about that heinous attack that took place uh, a few years back in 2015 april that had the world over shocked by its severity and the casualty that came out of it but of course this is perhaps going to provide closure to the victims and the relatives of those who were injured and of course lost in that particularly heinous attack there you go mm -hmm. that's a story on page nine let's flip over to page 10 and talk 